If you're getting into Resonite, you're probably going to want a sort of 3D avatar, kind of like the one I'm wearing. And if you're a 3D artist, you clearly want to get these avatars to people very quickly within Resonite too. Now most avatars are made for VRChat as a Unity package, or something along those lines. And getting those avatars into Resonite required a little bit of self-service, I would say. But now, the quickest way to get yourself an avatar in here is by using a Resonite package. Now the function of a Resonite package is very clear and simple, importing and exporting items in and out of Resonite. This could be items, object, code, and more importantly, avatars. With this file, it's literally just drag and drop, even simpler than most other VR platforms. And here's a quick guide on how to use it. If you've obtained or downloaded a Resonite package from somebody else or a website, all you do is take that package and drag it into Resonite. And that's literally all there is to it. You've got the avatar now. Now if you're an avatar creator, all you need to do is grab this and then go to the files, press the green plus, and export the Resonite package. Just put the Resonite package with all your other downloads and you're set. Everyone else can download the file and put it into Resonite immediately. Now for avatar security, clearly you don't want other people using or stealing your avatar as you import it. Which is why when you export it with simple avatar protection using this component, it's going to be on there on the import too. This component ensures that the person who imported the package is the only one who's allowed to wear it and also edit the textures. You can also script events when people import things with this protoflux node. Say for example you want a menu to pop up on import or if you want something to happen on import, you can do that with this protoflux node very easily. So with the new Resonite package system, as a 3D artist or creator, you're easily able to share something with somebody. And if you're importing the package, all you have to do is literally drag and drop it. It couldn't be any more simpler. Now if a user knows nothing about Resonite, they can still grab a Resonite package and immediately have an avatar to drag and drop in here with no setup required. And if you're an avatar creator, you don't have to go through any trouble of setup or troubleshooting to get someone set up with an avatar in Resonite. Now I've been talking about avatar stuff this whole time, but Resonite packages can be used for pretty much any item. You can use it to share props, objects, or any other code, or you can just use it yourself to back up things locally. Now if you are an avatar creator and you don't know much about Resonite, I know a bird who could set you up over there. Hi, it's me. I'm Bird. You should hire me. Honestly, I just wanted to touch on this new feature because I think it's just so cool. And it removes 90% of the friction that new players have when they're coming to the platform, which is getting their avatar. Granted, the avatar needs to be a Resonite package already to be usable, but I feel like it's just a matter of time before it gets pretty widely adopted. And I'm going to make sure of it. And thanks for watching. Yeah, this is like the end of the video and, you know, something goes here or I, I don't...